Hi there, so what we're going to have a look at today is how to solve simultaneous equations. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a little quick trick that we can use that will hopefully make them a little easier to you. So what you've probably been taught in school is that you either have to try and make the x values equal to one another, or the y values equal to one another, and then subtract them away. We're going to use a totally different method to that today. So what we're going to start, first start off by doing is trying to solve what x is. Okay, so we're going to write that x is equal to, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take this number up here of 2y and we're going to multiply it by 3 down here. Okay? Now when we're multiplying these we don't worry about the variable. We're not interested in the y or the x, we're just interested in the value of it and the number. So in this case what we're going to do, we're going to multiply 3 and 2 together. So we're going to have 6. So we're going to have 6, take away, and then we're going to cross multiply our 4 here with our 1y down here or just our 1. So 4 times 1, so that's equal to 4. Okay, I'm going to divide that by we're going to take our 2y term again here and multiply it by 4 just here. Sorry, by our 2 there to get 4. Jumped ahead, sorry. So we've done 2 times 2 and got 4. And then we're going to take our 3 up here and we're going to multiply it by our 1 down here. So 3 times 1 again is 3. And we're going to subtract that away from 4 just like we did above. Okay? So we've essentially just cross multiplied. So we always start at this 2y term here or the term that's in the position just here. And we multiplied down to 3. 2 times 3 gave us the 6. We did 4 times y, or 4 times 1, to give us 4. So that was the cross multiplication for that side. Then we looked at the bottom. We did 2 times 2, which gave us the 4. And then we did 3 times the 1, which gave us 3 here. OK, so 6 subtract 4 gives us 2. Divided by 4 subtract 1 is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So therefore, our final answer, we know that x is equal to... 2. Okay? Now we can just use substitution to solve what the y value is. So we're going to substitute this here, our answer of x equals 2, into either the first equation or into the second equation there. Let's choose the first equation, shall we? Um, I'll tell you what, yeah, we'll choose the first equation. You can choose either and you should get the same answer, just choose whichever one's easiest for you. But we'll go with the first one. So we're going to substitute 2 into this equation, so we're going to be left with 3 brackets 2 plus 2y equals 4. Okay? So 3 times 2 is 6. Add 2y equals 4. Okay, we're going to subtract 6 across just like we're solving there for y. So on the left hand side we'll be left with 2y. And that's going to be equal to 4 minus 6, which is minus 2. And then we're going to divide through by 2. So if we divide through by 2 there, I know my y value, it's going to leave me with a negative 1. So therefore, the two answers for the simultaneous equation that we first started off trying to calculate, we know that y equals minus 1. And coming up here, we know that our x value equaled 2.